Yo, life's a kaleidoscope, chopped with a lot of hope. I sit and rhyme when I think about my obstacles. Hey, ma, look at me now. The kid is on a rise and he's making you proud. I got a half a million dollars at the age of 22. I thought my life was set. I guess it wasn't true. And now I'm 23, trying to make it back to school. But I never graduated, so they calling me a fool. Yeah, I'm turning bronze to a lot of gold. I'm feeling like LeBron when he got a goal. Static play the record so they hear what I say. I'm from New York, but I'm headed west, no Kanye. With a backpack and my fans talking in the chat back and a bogart like the Rat Pack. No, it won't stop till I'm that cat. I'm no one they could compare yet. But I still ask myself, are we almost there yet? We're here to talk about this collaborative, I don't want to call it a tape, it's a, it's a project, it's, it's, a, it's, experiment. it's an experiment. Yeah. Nice. So tell me about this experiment. Static, obviously, has, has coined his own sound in boom bap, hip hop, and just hip hop in general, and what I do kind of juxtaposes what he does, mm -hmm. and at the end of that you have then boom bap and blues, and so it's it's been... An experiment, like he said, it's like we just went into the to the studio in his basement. No pressures, you know what I mean? No guidelines, just no thinking, just, just making dope music. That's all we did, and so out came the project. With the word blues in it, to me, that opens the door for a lot more than like what we were hearing, like a traditional R&B pop type. What are we talking about? I feel like the blues in the project, that's what represents me, where the boom bap represents static. It's just feeling. It's, it's something that Jared Evan fans that know me, and, and I'm sure that you know Esteban for years, that I've been known to get real deep with it and just kind of shut off what everyone else does and not even think about what everyone else is doing and do what I do. And, and I'm known to kind of be introspective and dig deep. And I feel like the blues part of it is more than just like blues music. It, it's deeper than that. It means like I'm pouring out my heart and my soul. She's a killer with the black axe. Says she's gunning with the pound for some fast acts. Ammunition like a navy. Monastery, all the samurais crazy. She lost her soul a long, long time ago. He gave me the track, right? I left with it. And so I'm listening to the to the track and like I had these two ideas. One was Uma Thurman and the other was Batman and Robin. So the Batman and Robin concept. And I clearly hated yeah. the second that, one. That wasn't even about, that wasn't gonna be about <laughs> a girl. Batman and Robin? No, honestly, like the Batman and Robin concept, I, I would have went off of this idea of like, it would be about how me and Stat are like partners in. Yeah. It's called Boom Bap and Blues, not right. Boom Bap and Rainbows. <laughs> But anyway, so listen, so he, like we said about shooting ideas down, bumping hits, he right. shot that down. Bong. Even Good. though I don't think that's, I think that's pretty dope still, but whatever. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I said to Stat, yo, what do you think about Batman and Robin or Uma Thurman? He's like, ah, not Batman and Robin, do Uma Thurman. So I said, all right. You could have called it Punky Brewster and I would have liked it more than <laughs> Batman and Robin. Will you ever be my woman? I mean, so the metaphor for that record was like, it's just about bad bitches, you know, that 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 are bad, that are just so beautiful, yeah, right. <laughs> but they're evil, they do whatever they want. They, they'll text you and then not text you and ignore you and then, and then make you feel like they love you and then not. She's about to touch you back, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's about a, After she hands this record. It's, it's about a bitch playing games. Texted OD. It's about a bitch who does what she wants. That's what I was saying. She was. Uma Thurman being, you know, Beatrix Kiddo in Kill Bill, I kind of like translated that character to her name and put it on the record. Let's make some music. Put the plug in the socket. You know I'm gonna rock it. Let's level out the CQ. You know that I'm focused. I'll let you like some vocals. I wanna rehearse with you. Originally it started as a record about let's make some music. That's what the, the song says on the hook and everything. And it's all just sexual references to making music. Like, like making babies. What? You know what I mean? And um, then Action Bronson spit a verse about nothing to do with the song. <laughs> and then Action came and just did some fuckery. Thinking it's love that's only seasonal. Your lower region got me feeling so, so I keep, keep coming back. Knowing that your boys in you called the boys on me. Something I can never forgive. I gave you two kids. Action 
he has a uh, tradition to talk about his baby mother in songs. <laughs> He's basically talking about no matter what, I love you, even though I'll never forgive you because she called the cops on him. But at the end of the day, we're still gonna procreate. Because her lower region keeps <laughs> having him come back. Right. I think he said, your lower region keeps me coming back. Like he's just he a said, dick. get ready for some African ram sex. Yeah. <laughs> he said, better get ready for some African ram sex. And it's like, obviously that's personal to him and his baby mother. Right. But it, I think it will, um, oh, man. It, it, connect, it does connect to the song. It even though, it, you know, Even though his verse is introspective to him and his own thing, it works for the record because at the end of the day, the record's about making making babies. Word. You know I mean? We can put it all on tape right here. Why don't we just procreate what we hear? So let's make some music. I could be waiting for a taxi and find a sample and make a beat. Or I could be like, oh, let's make music right now. And sometimes those are the worst days when you're like, I gotta make 10 beats right now. Right. That might be the worst. And you might be getting ready to go out. Sometimes I'll have like Pandora on, like getting dressed to go out and hear something and be like, I'm going downstairs and making that right now. Like weird things happen. I, actually, um, the Shazam app on the iPhone is the best thing ever created. I'll be walking down like 14th Street and a hotel will be playing a song and I'll like Shazam it and go home and sample it. Like That's crazy. Ill. Yeah. All right, black and white. <laughs> It's like she don't even care She sees me in black and white This record is basically based on my history, you know what I mean? She's thinking I'm an asshole, when really I'm like, I've changed, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a new guy, like, stop looking at it so black and white. Like, what? you gotta give me a chance, you know what I mean? So, this is actually one of the records where I'm kinda like, she's annoying, you know what I mean? And she just, I'm at a point where like, yo, you gotta chill, you gotta give me a chance, you know? So this record is, is about that, and obviously Joey Badass hopped on it, and um, Joey's a good homie, he's working with Static a lot, and um, we just thought he would sound perfect on this particular record. To the heart, to the torso, she cut me like Zoto. Show no love, Do like pornos. He said he, he wrote it when he was 15, you know what I mean? But it, it fits perfectly for the record. Your presence is a present, and I wish that I could be present. Like every day with a present. So I be stressing, trying to drown a fish with this bitch. Just to get a repression. Cause she's colorblind. It's funny how, like, sometimes life imitates art. That week, it was like the next day, two days later, I went on a date with this chick that I really liked. And she was like, well, I see things in black and white. And I was like, and you finished, see you later. Wow. That ass serious. I was like, that. peace. I didn't literally get up and leave, but in right. my mind, I was like, this ain't going nowhere. I started radio at 13 years old, so literally, I don't know anything but doing music all day, every day. Like, it's hurt relationships in my life. It's hurt, you know, my health. It's done all kinds of stuff, but at the end of the day, it's my everything and my energy, so it is what it is. At this point, I look at like I actually sacrificed part of my life for the music, and mm -hmm. that's that'll be my legacy. Anything I see to me is like, how can I translate this into art? You know, whether it's music or whatever it is, and music just so happens to be the thing that just you know, gets me through my day, you know what I mean? If something messed up happens or if something really good happens, the first thing that I want to do is put it on record.